What you guys are about to see was easily, easily one of the craziest days of my life. I don't even know uh, where to start or like how to, how to explain it. Um, <laughs> but, okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, I'm, st I'm starting over, I'm starting over. You're not going to believe what happened. I know I've probably said that like 15 times in my YouTube career. Um, but th seriously, you aren't, you aren't going to believe this story. I went to jail to purposely break someone else out of jail. This is what happened. Um, I, I, I woke up uh, in the morning and I was kind of like doing my thing, you know, like eating breakfast, whatever, and I'm watching TV and I see this news clip. This is Michelle Diaz reporting live from a local community on the street. Um, we just got a report about a Katie Johnson that was just arrested for Grand Theft Auto, which is really, really strange for her. Talking to everyone that knows her, she's been a valedictorian. She's also been known to be very book smart and involved in the community. This is very strange and there's just so much going on around here. Our sources are saying that her boyfriend is the one who actually stole the car. We just talked to Katie's family. They say this is just another example of how unjust the American criminal system is. She may spend up to 10 years in prison for a crime that she may not have even committed. And so I, I was super confused. I, I, like I was super not only confused but intrigued um, because to me, it sounded like this whole like crazy like crime thing, and you guys know I loved like the cr like crime stuff and like investigation and like conspiracies and like justice law stuff. Uh, and obviously, I have like this character Sherlock Paul that like helps to solve crimes and like mysteries uh, for people. And so I instantly thought like, yo, I like let me let me let me help out here. Like, there's definitely something I can do to help this family if she really did get set up. Uh, by her boyfriend and was actually spending time uh, or was going to spend time in prison wrongfully. I, and so I wanted to help uh, and I was super intrigued and I reached out to the family and, and to uh, specifically, I talked to her sister Megan um, and I got all this info from her and it turned out to be a crazier story than I thought. I wanted to help Megan and I invited her over um, to the house to tell her story and to see if Sherlock Paul and the Team 10 gang could could help her out. Uh, this is this is what went down. Hi, nice to meet you. Thank you yeah. so much. This is Hi. Ari, nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Chad and Hi. Nice to meet you. You too. No, Hi. Thank you. I'm Anthony. Hi. Anthony. Thanks for coming out this way. I know it's that's, 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 a, that's my dog. I know it's far. Uh, we can just chat upstairs. You guys want to come? Yeah. Okay. When I saw the news clip, I just didn't. I just immediately like wanted to wanted to help. Um, what like what ha so what happened in, in like your sister's like w words or like basically what's her side of the story and like? I mean she. She didn't do it. That's the main point. It's like, okay, Katie has been dating this guy named Steven. He's like, you know when you can tell automatically when a person's sketchy? I'm just like, him. not, yeah. yeah. So that's basically him. And like, we always knew, like, my family. Um, he was like the unwanted boyfriend. Yeah, yeah. And like, she's such a good girl. So she's like, go over and stuff. But um, she's only 19. And he gave her a present, a car. And what kind of car was it? Um, it was a brand new BMW. But he stole it. Yeah. So he stole it and then gave and then, it? Yeah, it was a present. So like, when a present is given, you think someone buys it and then gives it. And then that's why it's yours now. Wow, but she didn't know it was stolen? No, no, no one did. And no one believes that she's innocent. That's the problem. Like, everyone thinks she stole and she did all this stuff, but she didn't. Like, it's Steven. And there's like no way to get her out of jail because everyone's like all the evidence points to her. You know what I mean? Because she had the car. Yeah, she was driving the car around, so it looked like she stole it. And oh, then so she was like driving, and then she got pulled over. Yeah, and then the cops identified the car as stolen. 
Yeah, but she didn't know, so she was like kind of refusing. Yeah, she was refusing. She's like, okay. no, what are you talking about? Like, She's like, my, my boyfriend Steven bought me the car, of course. Could you imagine yeah. being in that situation where you're driving your new car and you get pulled over and taken to jail? Holy Yeah, and like she's a sweetheart, so she did, she didn't know how to react. And she's like, she didn't like try to run away. Like she, she wasn't guilty, you know? How's your family handling all this? Like, It's, we're pissed and like mad at, okay. Cause we knew it, we told her, like we warned her, you know, like when sketchy guy like, comes into your life, it's like, okay, like be careful. like. So does the family believe your sister that she's innocent or does your family think that she, she stole the car? Innocent. Innocent, yeah. Yeah. No, like we grew up with her. Like my parents raised her, they know how they raised her and this is not like her at all. So how long are they trying to put her away for? They're trying to give her 10 years in prison for something she didn't even do. 10 years? Yeah. How old is she? She was 19. Oh, that's her whole life. That's crazy. Has anyone tried to like reach out to Steven or like figure out like... Um, no. I mean, I asked some of his like, my sister's friends if they like knew how to reach him, but they... He just has disappeared? Yeah. This is insane. Yeah, I mean, I was talking to his friend like after the whole incident happened and he said that he apparently stole more cars before, like before they were even like dating and everything. Um, but honestly, I think that she is the only way that can, only person who can get to him and like who can make him confess because they have. You yeah. Know. If Katie gets out, she thinks that she could get in touch with Steven and prove that he was the one that did it somehow? Yeah, I think she has the connections for it. Um, but bail is like 500,000 and we're- 500,000 for yeah. a BMW? 500,000 bail? Dollars. Yeah, but like, <laughs> we're a normal family. Like we don't have that much money. And like, obviously we know she's innocent, so we would pay anything for it, but- what, What's your sister's full name? Katie. Okay, I just want to look up her charges real quick and where she's at. Oh. Do you think if we got a hold of this guy, Steven, that he would actually confess and... Or is he, is he a douchebag? He's not gonna... He doesn't care. Yeah, I, I really think that he just was with her to, like, pin her on him. The only thing I could think of was, like, someone, like, going in and breaking her out. That's, Bro. That's crazy. Yeah, these, there's, like, seven charges. This is serious. It's seven, seven counts of Grand Theft Auto? Yeah, it's not just the one car. They're, they're hitting her with every car. That Steven stole? Yeah. Oh, sh Wait, did you just say that the only other option that you could think of is if someone like went in there and broke her out? Honestly, I mean, it sounds crazy, but like, I, I mean, can't think of it. It sounds that. crazy, but it also sounds lit. Like, have you ever seen Prison Break? I love that show. Yeah, but it's a TV show. <laughs> This is real life, Anthony. We've done stupid stuff like this though, hundreds of times. Yeah, I mean, like you could probably get away with it. It's like real life prison break. If you think about it. You did just get a bunch of. Time. Why are all you guys looking at me? I don't know. I'm you not know. doing it. You're dirt from Disney, bro. You do dares. You're crazy. Well, I just don't understand why you guys are all looking at me. So like, I don't do. I mean, there's nothing else we can do, and like we know she's innocent, and like we try to put it in public, you know, like social media, like bump it up and stuff. But like no one really cares the whole justice system. Is. Jake, you gotta, you gotta get her out. Where the justice system is corrupt. This is if Sherlock Paul. If if Jake went, got her out of jail. Is there enough ed evidence to clear her name? Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, because then I would get like in trouble for like. You'd be in trouble for doing that too. But yeah. if the proof was there, you could you could go up front and be like, I had to do this. This is. I, you know what I, I don't know, man. This is crazy. The point is, can we get a hold of Steven if we get your sister She out? knows. She doesn't want to tell, I don't know why she's defending him, but she knows how to get to him and how to talk to him. Bro, as long as we can get to Steven, we'll get the truth. Yeah. Please. What if you can't break out of jail? What if you go to jail and you well, can't break out? What are you going to go to jail for? Yeah, well, we'll just like come up with something that's not like that stupid. Who said I was going to jail? How are you gonna? You have to. You, what, you, you gotta break in to break out. Yeah. Oh, you can't break in and then break out. You have to. You have to be arrested to get in there. Why aren't you down for this? What if it's something that we're like? Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Okay, I just hold on. 
because, bro, like, that's serious Yeah, bro, what? you're asking him to go to jail, dude, yeah, come what? on. I mean, is there something, like, it, oh, what if I went for, like, some dumb like, jaywalking, and, like... You can't go to jail for jaywalking. Yeah, you can. You can, you can, there's a cop's a dick, you can go. So it's up to find an angry cop. So what if I, oh, yo, what, what if, if I go get hit by a car? What what if, that's not very what smart. If, what if we call the cops on you for doing something here? Yeah, like, yeah, trespassing. Yeah. Oh, they don't know. So if you they call no, if you call the cops on me for trespassing here, we yeah. can just drop the charges too. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you went oh, to jail. Oh, you got the wrong person. Drop the charges. And trespassing is like a misdemeanor. Yeah. So I, I'd only be in there for like a day, anyways. Just enough time in and out. Twelve hours, probably max. This is somebody's sister, somebody's daughter. That's gonna, it's gonna ruin her whole life. We have to, we have to do something. Well, the real question is, how are you gonna figure out a plan to break out of jail in less than 12 hours? Well, if he gets in there, he can't figure it out. He gets out, but the point is, maybe he can make his even info, but he can try. I have to try, I guess. This is... This is... Honestly, it will mean, like, a lot. Like, I know it's a lot to ask, and, like, it's crazy, but... Like, she's only 19, and she has, like, a whole, whole life ahead of her, and she is innocent. Like, I... She is. And, like, we tried everything. Like, you're kind of the only... Yeah. How to do it, man. We have to. We have to. I'll do it. Thank you. I'll, uh, I'll do it. <laughs> no, I'm not. Wait. <laughs> Am I actually doing this? <laughs> Yo. Deems like we're rolling. How do we? Oh my god, okay. I'll do it. Really? I'll do it. Oh my god, thank you. I'll do it. I need like to like break out though if I'm actually going. Like a bro, screwdriver or something. Take a screwdriver into jail, bro. Because when. one way to take anything into jail. <laughs> you just. I'm just gonna put it in my underwear. <laughs> yeah, or no, tape, something. It, tape it to your leg. I'm telling you, if you tape it right here to your leg. You think if I tape it? No one's gonna check right there, I guarantee you. Because yeah, it's just jail, right? So no, no, yeah, if he's like rowdy, if when he gets arrested, they're gonna like have to, like, they'll throw him in the back, and they'll take him to the holding cell, and they'll like just get him in there to not deal with him. Yeah, they, have, have, to to they have to process they're him not first. Strip search him till later. So that won't get strip searched till later. Yeah. So then I can actually see you'll, you'll, you'll be able to have your GoPro on you for, for the, at least the first few hours. So when the cops come, you have to resist. Don't 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 resist too much though, because what if you get like pepper sprayed or something? You think this will work? Oh yeah. Small enough to get in. Those are perfect, yeah, those bro. Those are perfect actually. All right, call the cops. Let's do it. Okay, so just pause right here. I don't know like why I started to go along with this idea. In hindsight, it was probably one of the dumbest things that I've ever done. Which is why I said you won't believe this. Like why would I? Like why why did I agree to do that, man? I'm, I'm a freaking idiot. The heat of the moment, Jake, is like different than, than like when I actually like think about stuff. Anyways, back to the video. Uh, hi, my name's Anthony and I'm at my home right now and there is a, a trespasser outside wandering around our property. We don't know how he got in. We live in a gated community. Okay, boys. Uh, yeah, he's wearing a blue shirt. Blue confident camo merch now available at Pedro and Kovacs. Uh, yeah, he's blonde hair. He's about six one. And I don't, I can't really see. He's kind of far away. What his facial description is, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have on him. He's like in our bushes, like lingering around. It's really weird. Okay. Can you please hurry? Yeah, He's someone's on the right. I need to get. You gotta go. I need to go outside and act like a trespasser. Yeah. Do you, you have, have the GoPro? Yeah, I have the GoPro. Right, okay. GoPro. Screwdrivers. Don't look. Look. <laughs> feels weird. It feels weird. You it looks. It looks good though. You can't tell. Wait, wait, wait. Shh. Go. You have to go. You have to go. go. I'm gonna act like a trespasser. Go in the bushes. Okay. 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 Alright, G. I'll see you on the other Give side, my guy. I'm a trespasser. I'm a trespasser. Yo, yo, you gotta be serious, man. Cause what if he tries to, like, tase you or shoot you? I'm a trespasser. Commit. You gotta have attitude when he comes up Commit. to you. Commit. Have attitude. Oh, 
There he is, okay, go, go, go. He's over there. He's right there, he's right there, right there in the blue shirt. Who are you? I'm trying, I'm the owner of the house. Right there in the blue. Who are these guys? These are my friends, they all live here. We're all friends, you guys just be over here while I check it out. Right there, they're over there. He's over there. Right there in the blue, that's him. Sir, That's we don't know who he is. Sir, keep your hands where I can see him. Open the sky now. Do it now. Don't move. Sir, keep your hands on top of your head. I, I Shut did, up. I just wanted to say hi to the. Shut up. Face the wall. Turn around. Turn around. No sudden movement, sir. Give me your hand. Give me your hand. Yo, I, Shut up. I will ask the questions. I didn't do s. Do you live here, sir? Do you live here, sir? No. As soon as this officer, like, pulled out his gun, I was like, I my pants. That is when I was like, yo, what the f? Why am I doing this right now? I, like, I don't know, you could, like, zoom in on my face, like, you could see how like terrified it was. I was speechless. I didn't even know what to say. I, w I was just, te I was terrified. Like it became, it, all of a sudden this whole idea became super real, but it was too late and I already had to go with it. God, keep watching. Wait, wait, wait. I'm just a fan. I just wanted to say hi. I know, but it's, you can't come here, bro. It's, illegal, it's the bro. third time you can't do that. So you guys don't know any, who this guy is. No, no. no. Never charges, we want him out. We'll never come back. Never no. seen him before. Never, never seen him. Seen him. Yeah, please, we've told him before. This is trespassing like officially. This is how you treat your fans? Listen, what, what is he being found? What is he mean by we're, this? We're, we're famous YouTubers. That's why we're filming this right now. We For our protection. We film everything. Just get him out of here. You're done. Don't ever come back here. Why, why would you come here? Why would you come sir, here? I'm going to need your ID. Okay, let me go get that. No. Property owner. No, sir. Lift your head. It's not made for comfort, is it? Where are you gonna take him to? Are you gonna take I might him? take him to the station. He's gonna be booked, but I, I still need to run him through the plates. Yeah, I need to run him over here. Sir, do you have any ID on you? Sir, I'm speaking with you. Do you have any ID? Me? No, the person behind you. What's your name? Jake. Jake what? Jake Paul. I need you guys to stay back, please. All right, yeah. Don't violate my space. You you honestly, honestly. one complete. Yeah, bro, we have to follow him. Wait, 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 we gotta hurry. You got the keys? We gotta, we gotta wait until he backs out. Let's just wait, wait till he leaves. What are we driving? What are we driving? Thank, Thank you, you, officer. This is crazy. Bro, I can't believe it. Bro. We gotta hurry. We'll just stay in the gate for a second. Yeah. Alright, go, 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 Yo, we don't have time. Get in. Let's go. We'll talk about it in the car. It worked. It worked. It worked. It worked. Perfect. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're ready. Yo, that was crazy. Did you see that? That cop almost took his gun out. Bro, he, Bro, did, he did, did take the gun out. Could you imagine if he shot Jake? Dude, I'm glad he's okay, though. Like... All right, come on, let's go. Well, okay, listen, he's probably gonna be stuck at the second gate. If we hurry, we can catch him. He's not gonna know where we're driving. Yeah, the map's yeah, right yeah. here, bro. It says the yeah, back. Yeah. This is the back of it right here. Oh, can we go in here? Oh, oh crap, down oh. here, bro. So then we uh, start driving. I'm in the back of this cop car on the way to jail, freaking out. Uh, it's like 105 degrees in Los Angeles. I'm sweating like an animal. Um, and like we, we, I turn my GoPro on uh, to like record audio like once we were pulling up to the jail um, I don't know like how good the audio is but yeah here it is well this is a felony it's a penal code 459 uh, breaking and entering um, you check okay the property owner they, they want to press charges this is not the first time we've received a 911 calls before uh, but we never find anybody for today so I saw you Okay. So, I don't know if you have a lawyer, you have a parent, or... You don't have to say anything, but it'll just make it a lot easier for you if you cooperate. I'm not going to say anything. You don't want to say anything? No. Okay. You need to at least sign this? Ed, like, does that admit guilt or no? No. I found you on the property. I have it on my desk and in my, in my vehicle. So, 
If you cooperate, it's gonna go a lot easier, trust me. At this point, you're probably like, what the heck? Is this real? Is this kid in jail? You're probably having so many emotions right now, just like I was. Shepard. I ask you some questions about this case. So you're found in a stolen BMW. Yeah, I see. What, if you just, it'll go easier if you just tell me where you stole it from. I didn't steal it. Yeah, but you're driving around in a stolen BMW. So who did steal it? That really doesn't help me at all. You know, you're looking at 10 years. You're looking at 10 years in federal prison. First offense. Are you ready? You ready to go down for that? No. Katie, you have to stop lying to us now! This is a whole ring, and you could break it. Or are you the mastermind? I think you know that what more than what you're saying. You know a lot more than what you're saying. Look me in the eyes, tell me you did not steal that. Oh, you're a good liar. This is ridiculous. We're not going away. This is not just going to fall away. You stole a car. Do you have any idea what 10 years in federal prison is going to look like for you? Do you have any idea what they're going to do to you in prison for 10 years? Is that what you want? You're not going to do all in prison, so just give it up. Where did you steal the car? Who gave you the car? Who? That is such an unlikely excuse. You are in possession of the car. You are responsible for the car. If you just tell the truth, it'll go a lot easier on you. All right, so if you're going to be combative, that's going to be a problem. I'll be back. Like yeah, no trespassing the signs. This is the back of it. Oh my god! Yeah, if he's gonna get out anyway, it's gonna be back here. There's no other place to go. 